and welcome to this episode of ESI Africa Insights. Today I have in the studio with me Natasha Africa. Now she's an HR executive with Lissedi Nuclear Services. Hello Natasha. Hi Teresa. Nice to see you here. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. Now I know you've just come from a Women in Energy breakfast. So um, why are these kinds of sessions at um, events like this important and what would you then say to women who are in this sector, this is why you should attend these kinds of sessions? Um, Teresa, I think that these sessions are very important um, for women in the industry. I think firstly, it gives a great opportunity um, for women to, to network, um, get to know the experiences, the skills of fellow colleagues in the industry. Um, the session um, I just attended um, was so heartwarming to see some of the inspiring stories and the great work um, that is being done by some of the, you know, great businesses and organizations that we have in South Africa. Yes. So I think from that perspective, um, we, we need these programs to inspire women to get into the industry. Okay. Now, Lissedi Nuclear Services runs a lot of different training programs, but um, what are the ones that really stand out for you? Lissedi invests greatly in development of its people and particularly in women as well. Um, Lissedi Nuclear Services has a training um, business unit called the City Skills Academy, where we train lots of individuals to gain um, very specific skills, um, not only for the nucle uh, nuclear industry, but in the energy and power industry um, as well. And we've been quite successful in getting women in the local community to actually enroll and, and enter this program. Okay. Um, also note that um, the entry requirements are not that easy. So it's fantastic when we have women on board. Some of our success stories include women that have qualified, um, that have now been appointed in positions, um, working in, in, in the industry, and um, some of the great ones as well are women that we have managed to send overseas to also work oh. in, uh, um, on international assignments. And of course, you know, we do try and retain them as much as possible. But um, when we lose them, it's actually great to see the other opportunities that await them. So we have seen women who have left Lissedi but have gone into the industry working in fantastic roles locally and abroad. Okay. So now what kind of advice would you give women who are at the beginning of their careers and they want to get into that next run? How do they go about doing this? I think it's important for women who are entering the industry or is in the industry to find mentors and people that can assist and guide them in their careers. Networking is very, very important. Networking assists in creating a support base. Um, for you, it gives you access to people who have experiences that can also assist you in your career development. It's important um, for women to attend these sessions so that they are inspired to develop their skills and potential in the industry. And um, me being in HR, I'm always interested in knowing what are the skills for the future. Mm. And coupled with the field of expertise being in energy, um, skills of the future include digital literacy, um, technological advancement, and in particular, emotional intelligence as well. Ah, and okay. I find that, you know, anybody in the technical environment, in the engineering environment, who can supplement what they know with the skills for the future will add so much value to the dynamic landscape of energy that lies ahead. So then uh, women who are already in this industry leaning into that, that's a strength that we bring that can really help you go up that run. Absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming into the studio and networking with us. Women for the win. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for tuning into this ESI Africa episode. Stay tuned for the next one and have a powerful day. <laughs>